Do you have trouble creating sexual tension on a date? Uh, it's a simple question and it's a simple problem and I used to have it a lot. And the truth is, is that most people or most men today or a lot of men today that are having trouble dating are all avoiding the tension. The tension in the date, the tension in life. See, life is meant to have tension in it. We thrive on tension. We need tension to grow. It's like lifting weights. You have to lift weights. You have to put tension on your body for the muscles to grow, right? Or take a seed. If you plant a seed in the ground, you got to put dirt on top of it. And the seed has to fight its way down and build roots and then fight its way up and break the surface to grow into a tree. And without that, it doesn't build the foundation, the structure to become a powerful tree that it needs to be to be a support for all the fruits that it's going to bear later. Um, let's take a look at, um, at as simple as, as making a baby. I mean, sex in and of itself is tension from, from uh, penetration to the sperm busting through the egg, to the baby growing, to the uh, growing in the womb, to the baby being born. Everything we do requires tension and then the tension seeks resolution and in the resolution of that tension, we, we create a new skill or a deeper understanding of who we are. And unfortunately today, a lot of guys, and, and by the way, men are built to step into tension. That's, that's part of the masculine role, but a lot of guys are avoiding tension. And that's why a lot of women aren't getting attracted to them because women get attracted to men that are really good with tension. I'm not talking about painful tension or tension that's too much. Tension can be a beautiful thing, and often is. I mean, if you get a massage that feels really good, there is tension involved in that in the act of giving the massage. You stretch your body, there is tension in that. Lifting weights, if you love to exercise, can feel amazing. Riding a roller coaster has a certain amount of tension. Watching a movie that's scary or filled with action has a certain amount of tension. But unfortunately, we're doing that a lot more today from the sidelines than by actually doing it ourselves, stepping in and playing sports for real. We watch it on the screen or doing something in our lives that adds excitement. We've learned and believe that if we just get rid of all the tension, people will like us. But that couldn't be further from the truth. You actually become boring at that point and women lose interest. Because think about it. As a woman, do you want a man that can step into tension and make things happen, deal with situations? Or do you want a man that gets rid of all the tension all the time? And if you were a woman in society, say, a thousand years ago, the man that can step into tension and make shit happen is way more valuable than the guy that avoids it. I mean, if he's got to go out hunting, he's got to step into tension. If he's got to build a home, he's got to step into tension. If he's got to fight a battle, he's got to step into tension. And if he can't do that, how is he supposed to protect her and her babies? It's, it's genetics. It's part of uh, life. Now, when you get good at stepping into tension, you become sexy. You become powerful. I'm not talking about like being a dick. I'm talking about feeling into it like that massage I talked about earlier. Feeling into it and taking it a little bit at a time and doing it in balance with, with what you're feeling, doing it proactively. And if you don't know what I mean by proactive, watch my video on proactive reactive. Because if you do it reactively, you then become dangerous. So think about this for a minute. Tension is one of the most essential skill sets that a man can develop if he wants to move forward in life. The CEOs of companies have mastered this. That's why they're the CEOs. They can make the tough calls. They can piss people off if they need to. And they're not afraid to. But in that, they get a lot of respect. The leading actors in movies, or at least in the movies they're in, you can see how much tension they step into to make that movie exciting because we're craving it today. And yet, maybe in their personal lives, they don't do it at all. And they're a very different person. But on that screen, they really uh, show up with that. So think about it. Are you avoiding tension? Because if you are, how are you supposed to turn it into sexual tension? How are you supposed to seduce a woman with that long glance where you just open up inside and you feel into her? Not some weird glance where you stare at her bug-eyed, uh, all nervous and scared and transmitting nervous energy to her, but where you relax in your body because you're good with tension. You enjoy it. You enjoy the attraction and the relationship you have with her while looking at her. Or a simple touch where you enjoy touching her, not scared to death, shaking inside, but you actually enjoy it. So I'm going to invite you to start getting good with tension. If you're bad in this area, then start stepping forward. and Start building that sense of indifference to outcome in your body. Start building that ability to be proactive. And I do have videos on these so you can check them out and learn more about it. Uh, one of the things I'm going to invite you to do, I'm going to give you one simple exercise to improve this area of your life. Get yourself a little notebook that you can carry with you. And start walking around each day and ask yourself, where am I avoiding tension? Where am I not stepping into the tension? And I don't mean like this big leap forward, like trying to jump the Grand Canyon. I'm talking about just a little bit. I've got, I'm going to do a video on uh, not popping your circuit breaker, not pushing too far. And, and definitely check that out if you don't understand that principle. So kind of bringing these all together. 
but take one step forward a little bit. If, if you're scared shitless of talking to women and you can't talk to them and if you walk over you're going to lose your shit, then take it one step. Maybe you go walk near them. Maybe you go to a bar and stand close and start learning to relax and open up inside. And that's the key is open up and relax. Get comfortable. Anytime you push your boundary, you're improving. So take this notebook and write down what you're afraid of. And write down how scared you are on a scale of uh, 0 to 10. 0 not being scared at all, which you probably wouldn't write it down anyways. All the way to 10 being, I am terrified right now. Find something in the middle or maybe all the way up to a max of an 8. And then take one action that steps you just a little bit closer into that, that steps you into it. Like maybe it's just going over there and asking somebody the time that you find attractive. Maybe it's um, uh, going out there and telling the waiter that you didn't like a meal that you don't like because normally you're too scared to. And that's on the, on the mild end. Or maybe it's all the way up on the extreme end where you're actually pushing tension with somebody and saying random shit to be flirty and teasing them a little bit. Who knows? But it's got to be something that's just pushing your boundary a little bit. After you do that, take the notebook and jot down how you improved what you learned. Not what you did wrong, but how you improved what you, what you learned. Because what you focus on expands. Remember that. What you focus on expands. So write down what you got out of it. And then ask yourself a question again. How does it feel, the same idea of doing that same uh, thing that you just wrote down a number for, you probably wrote down eight, and if you imagine doing it again, is it the same number? Did it decrease? It could, might only decrease by half a point or a whole point. But if you keep doing this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a notebook filled with places you stepped into tension and you learned something. And after a day, two days, three days, four days, five days of doing this, maybe an hour, half hour a day, your mind is gonna start to look at tension differently. It's going to start to see every opportunity, every uh, bout of tension that you would normally avoid as an opportunity to get excited, to feel good. Because when you step into tension and you move a little bit into it and you enjoy it, what happens? After you do it, you feel yourself expand inside and your ability to receive inside expands. You feel good. You feel better about yourself. And if you just keep compounding that a little bit at a time, every day with every interaction, a little a little bit more and a little bit more, you're going to feel better and better and better and better and bigger and over time you're going to see a huge improvement. It's not about getting a huge improvement overnight, it's about compounding that improvement until it takes off like a rocket. Okay. Now if you want to learn more about this topic and you want to learn more ways to step into tension and you want to talk about your, uh, your situation with tension, feel free to click the link below and fill out the form and, and um, we'll do a little half hour talk with me or one of the guys. Uh, that works with me in the company and we'll talk about your specific scenario around avoiding tension and how you can get better at it. Because if you do this wrong, you can actually start stepping in attention and you just be an asshole because your show shut off while you do it. So you don't want to do that one either. And um, maybe that's another video sometime we'll see. So feel free to go ahead and like the video. If you liked it, comment, you know, uh, like the Facebook page and I'll see you in the uh, next video. Take care guys. Bye.